Hello and welcome back to another episode of Battletech. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Swan Song campaign where we're trying to beat the game on the literal hardest difficulty in order to prove that that is possible but in order also to have some fun. We are in the solar system number four and uh, yeah fun problems continue to plague us. I have chosen to spoil my crew with that extravagant lifestyle and you can see that the morale is already moving towards 50, which is really the target that I want to keep. Uh, that would give us so much more advantage during uh, the combat with inspired shots and will make it easier for us. But yeah, the cost of that is we're actually not having any funds available for now. Time today for the thorny problem. We're working for the Free Worlds League once again. We want money because that is what we need. And we're running the same team kind of back to back as beforehand. Let's hope that Hogbite and their team will ambush the convoy and successfully kill everyone without, yeah, really taking much damage. Good. Time to land. We're in a desert biome which will make it hard for us to keep up our firepower. So we we can fully expect that this year is going to be incredibly nasty. Once we have started to uh, fight against them, we'll potentially run out of steam soon. Let's sprint up. Potentially soon going to I copy. catch some of them. On my way. On my way. I've got eyes on the target. Right, that's where they are. We got the high ground here. That really Warning. doesn't mean Enemy much. Contact. Good, reserving. That's a small mech. That's trying to make its way up there. V kill another mech. Okay, cool, good. Standing by. All right, fire starter moves up. Doesn't see the vehicle. Sees a trebuchet and sees a locust. Well, Mr. Locust, you, sir, have really picked a poor spot. Target confirmed. <laughs> That's gonna hurt. Made out of paper. Systems holding. What up? Yeah. All right, Mox moves up. Heading out. And let's hopefully kill the locust. Good. There we go, Locust down. Blackjack moves in. And Vindicator moves in as well. Fantastic. We're disappearing from the map. Let's put ourselves in reserve. Trebuchet moves in. The enemy tries to hit us. Oh, that's okay. The enemy also tries to escape. Yes, Commander. I would say we're using our jump jets. Fire starter. Jumps down here, and you can see that there is a recon vehicle, one that we need to get rather sooner than later. Fast starter begins to unload on the trebuchet. Uh. Good. So, Vindicator moves down. Uh, 
Let's kill this trebuchet. Oh nice, we got a head hit. No problem. Mox moves in. Like if we were to go for the head, that's a 2% chance. Why not? If we ki uh, if we hit it, the trebuchet would fully be recoverable. We of course did not. Hogbite begins to unload. And boy, the trebuchet is really, really down. Awaiting orders. Good, so let's jump over here. And that guy is not uh, not well armored. Primary target damage. Primary target Fantastic. Damage, Commander. Keep it up. So much for just running away. Right here. Ready for order. Trebuchet. Almost down. Let's continue. Fantastic. Trebuchet down and we're ready to take on the rest. Uh, lots of MGs, ACs. This here is a, a lost tech. Really nice lost tech. Starting to hit the guy. And of course, it was too easy. It looked too easy, so it must have been too easy. SRM carrier? Oh yeah, we're oh yeah, we're going to go for the SRM carrier. Not even a question. Locking on target. Unfortunately, we, although having an 85% chance to hit, we missed almost all of our shots. And that's the retaliation. That, guys, is why you're going for the SRM carrier first. Okay, that hurt. That indeed hurt. Commander? Like a lot. Receiving you. Location confirmed. Locked on. Good. Enemy vehicle destroyed. Vehicle down. Fantastic. Enemy flanking. The remaining forces come obviously from here. Gotta be a bit careful. Yes, Move order confirmed. My starter moves in and Let's hit the striker. That's a lot of armor. Let's see if we can kill it from behind. Rear armor it is. Yeah, no, not enough. Good. we're moving closer and yeah you can already see from the overheating that we will have a problem with that biome here if we're continuing to destroy that additional force that's fighting against us that'll be another 25 percent 
spawners. We could move down here and engage them, or we're staying here on the high ground, that's also an option. We'll go. Be there in the chip. Let's wait and see what exactly we're dealing with. So a lot of light mechs apparently. No problem. Waiting for the right move. I still would like to keep the high ground. Commander. Specifically aye against aye. the light mechs. That makes a lot of sense because um, they typically don't have a lot of long ranged weapons to begin with and also you get the aim bonus so their strength which is um, a lot of evasion blips can be counteracted ready for orders but let's take a look what we're dealing with javelin javelin locust <laughs> yeah, I think I can. I think we can handle that. Yes, Commander. Bastada moves up. Target locked. Starting to at least hit the javelin. Yeah. What can I Every do? little bit of damage counts. Moving. They are potentially just going to jump jet up here. Target acquired. Yeah, complete and utmost surprise, right? What's up, Commander? Time to actively probe. Sensors. Locked on. Good, we're just going to wait. They have literally no counterplay. Their plan just you. did not really work out well. Copy that. Fire starter moves up. And let's hit the javelin where it hurts, right in the middle of center torso. Oh yeah. Target's taking a critical hit. And now we can see just how uh, the morale bonus pays out. Lots of extra resolve. Let's go for the Locust. <laughs> that worked out too, too good. So, fantastic positioning up here versus Light Mix that cannot really do much. Aye, aye. Copy that. Fire moves down. Medium lasers are not required. Good. Good Locus go. is down. Piece of cake. Raven moves up. Couple of extra shots. And let's use our precision strikes that are also reducing the initiative waiting for orders location confirmed locked on reporting critical hit yeah the javelin Commander? really has nothing on us at this point 
Roger that. Precision strike where it hurts. Take that. Waiting for orders. It's now down to two initiative. Firing on target. Takes even more damage and we're just standing up here. Not moving means we also are not creating a lot of heat. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. So that was straightforward. A fun little mission. And luckily, because we've destroyed them, there is a 25% bonus and another 10% bonus. So yeah, the payout really started adding up. No injuries, nothing. Just straight up 700-ish thousand. So we should be at a million. Which means our immediate monetary problems are gone, but not completely. So we still... Should be careful. We are living a life of uh, of uh, many expenses, since I have chosen kind of that extravagant lifestyle for the crew. The advantages, as you have seen, so many um, increased shots, and once the morale is at fifty, you also don't need that lifestyle anymore. So I've learned that it is a good investment at the beginning just to get that resolve production up. And to be honest, we still have a month um, left over, so that's fine. In terms of extra missions, what are we going to do? What is it going to be? I don't know, guys. This is potentially the last mission, so it seems like an eye for an eye is the right play, but assassinate missions can be tough. Escort missions sometimes as well. You might fail the mission, to be honest, but it has a better biome. I really like the polar biome. Let's go with that first and let's be greedy. We want it all. 520 and yeah we're going to run our standard setup the first two and a half oh okay well the game's even warning us that it is too light we're going to go ahead anyways All right, short update in case you're wondering why the mission will stop here. I've played the following mission and decided to uh, cut both of the videos in half because the next one is actually quite a banger. Uh, so um, it will end in a cliffhanger here. The next one is a two and a half school mission and rest assured uh, that will be eventful. I'm not saying more. If you want to know more, uh, tune in in two days. Thank you and have a great one. Bye bye.